well that wasn't great I just got a stern talking to from the authorities telling me that I should not be doing this here that's fine I just filmed last episode about introducing the Toyota Sequoia to the fleet and then I got surprised with a little bit of extra money. I sure love getting surprised with extra money, extra money is always sweet. So I've had the next step of the ute on hold for a couple weeks now, just been too broke to really pull the trigger, uh, but I have those brand new wheels. And I've been just dying to get them installed and mounted up, but I didn't have money for tires. And I've been waiting, but I got this extra cash, so that's what I'm gonna go do. One of the things that kind of sucks about living on a mountain, like I do, is that uh, anytime you wanna do something car related, it typically includes driving a long ways. Uh, the tire shop that I'm going to to buy my tires from is like almost two hours away. Cool. So I'm gonna spend half the day driving down there, getting some tires mounted and driving back. But uh, I, it, the good news is I'll get my sweet new wheels mounted up. I'll probably do that in town and then drive home on them. So I'll get to get some beauty shots of how they look. Right now they are in the back of the ute. And uh, one other quick update. The other day I was on Facebook Marketplace and I found a set of uh, Integra GSR leathers for like 45 bucks and that's what I'm sitting on right now if you're not familiar with these seats they are pretty much the most comfortable and sought-after Honda seats of all time they are amazing if you can find a set in really really good shape they usually run between five and eight hundred dollars this set uh, they're a little torn up there's some damage on the driver's side seat specifically like you know the bolsters a little torn the the butt is a little torn but I don't care it's for the ute and these are so much more comfortable than the stock Honda seats that this was a major score and I was really stoked to throw these things in got a bunch of stuff on it right now but they even match the uh, the interior of the Civic pretty well which is great um, they don't quite bolt directly into an EK Civic. They do bolt directly into an EG Civic, but on the EK there is one bolt hole that is not quite correct. But you can pretty much just drill a hole in the floor and put a bolt through it. Right now I have the seats in with three bolts. Uh, I will get around to drilling that hole and putting the extra bolt in. It's just not been a high priority. But yeah, little updates here and there on the Ute, doing little things, kind of make a big difference. More comfortable seats and uh, brand new wheels. One of those things that it's not exactly a big time consuming thing, it's just, you know, throwing extra money at it and having to make these extra drives to go pick up the things when I want them, but uh, well worth it in the long run. So yeah, let's get this show on the road and head down to the tire shop. All right, well, I'm on a random parking lot in Hillsboro. I just got done at the tire shop. He didn't want me to film there. I don't blame him. It's business, it's doing stuff. Uh, nice guy though, Hillsboro Tire. If you ever need tires and you're in the Hillsboro area or not in the Hillsboro area like me, check out Hillsboro Tire. They have a ton of used tires. I mean, like more used tires than I've ever seen in my life. These things are like brand new. I don't know if you can tell, but they are like the, the thread on these. Man, it's good. Good tread. So, yeah, uh, I'm gonna jack up my car and slap them on right here in the middle of a Rite Aid parking lot because I want to drive home on them and then see how they feel and I'm too excited to wait. So yeah, here we go. Get the, 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 get the,
bit. That took me like five minutes. And the words of a great, great man. Would you look at that? Would you just look at it? Yeah, I'm very pleased with this. They look fantastic. It's starting to rain a little bit, so I'm not gonna sit here too long and ogle over it. But I, yeah, that's, I'm really happy with that. It's just what I wanted. I hope it drives as good as it looks. We're gonna find out right now. And uh, yeah, I uh, scared off at least one person in this parking lot who was like, well, I'm gonna go park somewhere else. That's fine. Crazy guy out here changing wheels at Rite Aid. I'm gonna take some pictures and uh, take off. All right, well, I drove it home. And uh, if you're a keen observer, you might notice that I took the roof rack off. That's because it belongs to my girlfriend and she wanted it back. <laughs> um, I will say that uh, it is rubbing up front. I think right here, right there. Um, it still has all the plastic guards inside, the inner fender wells and uh, the front bumper underneath guard and stuff. So I want to jack it up, take all that stuff off and see if that alleviates the rubbing issue. It wasn't that bad. Uh, it's mostly just if you're at like full lock turning and hit bump type of thing or if you're at full lock in reverse, it rubs pretty bad. But uh, overall, I'm really happy with the wheel and tire setup now. These look awesome on here. And uh, yeah, just going to keep finessing it a little bit until we get it perfect. struggle I actually reached a point on this thing where my little jack will just just barely get it off the ground not not really very well and not high enough to get the jack stands to where they're high enough that when you let the jack out it's still sitting on off the ground so I have to go score a couple pieces of board you know I might keep those with me in the car keep them handy for I need to change a tire or anything because if I happen to be on an incline it's a good chance that jack is just not gonna get it off the ground at all might be time to buy another jack uh, I bought that thing it was real cheap at Harbor Freight and I like it it's really light which is nice for carrying it around in the car but it's also very light duty I've tried to pick up a truck with it and it just would not do it at all the ram is not very tough but for this little car it works pretty well for uh, anything else it doesn't so I don't know Maybe I'll weld an extender onto the, uh, the pad, just make it a couple inches taller. I don't know, we'll see. Something to think about, but yeah, let's get back to it.
All right, so I got a ton of plastic removed from this thing. There's uh, no more wheel wells. Well, no more wheel well plastic protectory deal. It's all just metal in here now. Next thing left to do is uh, see if I guess put the wheels back on and see if it's gonna rub or not. Been thinking about maybe taking the front bumper off. Can't decide. I kind of like having it on. It makes it look like a, a lifted car and less like a, you know just something all hacked up. But uh. I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments. Should I take the front bumper off? Should I leave it alone? <clears throat> anyway, I'm gonna throw the wheels and tires back on this thing, put it back on the ground, and maybe take it for a test rip. See how it does.